There's a piece of gear that I have for every single one of my cameras that I cannot live without. It's not the battery. That's uh, goes without saying it's important. It is an L bracket. Now this little device is so important to me that I buy one for every single one of my cameras, but I don't break the bank in my purchase of this product. Now, this is going to be an episode of Skoslo. This is something cheap that others spend lots on. At the end of the day, this little device is just a piece of metal. That's all it is, okay? It doesn't do any magic tricks for you. Therefore, you should not be breaking the bank to buy an L bracket. I'll get into prices after I talk about what this little device is for. Now, this device attaches to the bottom of your camera just like this. And what this does is it gives you an Arca Swiss mount at the bottom and an Arca Swiss mount on the left hand side, meaning you can attach this to your tripod via an Arca Swiss ball head. Nothing incredibly amazing about this device at first glance, but when you see the versatility of it, it really makes an extreme difference in your workflow while you're on location shooting. Now I did say that this does need an Arca Swiss ball head in order for it to work. So what I also had to do when I started switching over to L plates was switching all of the tripod ball heads that I have to Arca Swiss mount ball heads, which is actually an extremely universal ball head these days. Anyway, you can find them pretty much anywhere. They're all over the industry. It's becoming an industry standard. Actually, what makes that so versatile is that this L bracket lives on this camera at all times. So I can put this L bracket onto any one of my tripods, monopods, or whatever device I'm using to attach my camera or whatever devices I'm attaching to my camera, I can do with an Arca Swiss style mount. Why is that important? Well, there's several reasons why that's important. The Arca Swiss mount on a ball head that attaches to the bottom of that L bracket is a very strong and stable connection. Once that's seated in there and you tighten it down, it is locked in place. Many of these L brackets will also have these little knobs at the bottom that when you put it into the Arca Swiss ball head, it kind of locks it in place so that if you don't have it in there fully seated all the way fully tightened, it can still move from side to side without falling out. That is a really nice feature to keep your camera protected so it doesn't fall off of the ball head while you're moving your camera around on top of the ball head. It also makes it really easy to put your camera onto your tripod without having some proprietary mount that you might have for other tripod heads that have a very specific plate that needs to go on your camera. This way, every one of your cameras easily goes on and off of the ball head because they're all interchangeable via that Arca Swiss mount. Now, this is probably the most critical advantage to having an L bracket or an L plate. And that's while you're on location, while you're on location, you can be photographing something in a landscape orientation and then realize, oh man, this would look really great if I did it in a portrait orientation. So you can very easily take the camera off of the Arca Swiss mount and rotate it so that the lens axis still stays in the same position that it was in the horizontal position. But now when you go vertical, the axis of the lens is still in the exact same spot. You might not think that that's critical, but watch the difference. The difference is that if you don't use an L bracket to switch from landscape to portrait, you actually have to rotate the camera to the left or to the right, depending on which direction your ball head is facing and you don't maintain the axis of the lens, therefore altering and changing your composition. So the L bracket gives you a, a very fast and easy way to maintain your composition via the axis of the lens, whether you're in a landscape or a vertical mount. This is probably the most advantageous reason to purchase an L bracket. And actually, this is the reason why I purchased an L bracket. So you're interested in L bracket. Here's what to look for. Number one, I think that how it attaches to your camera is the most critical. Some of these L brackets like this one that I have from small rig, I'm not being paid by small rig to make this video. These are the L brackets I prefer. And the reason why is because it's custom fit for every one of my Sony cameras and still allows me to access the battery door. There are universal L brackets out there that are very inexpensive, anywhere from $20 to 15 to $20 that may attach to the bottom of your camera the exact same way as these small rig ones do. But you might see that it also blocks the port that you have there to open up your battery compartment. So fit fitment to me is the most important thing when it comes to an L bracket. And many of these companies out there know that you're looking for fitment. So they are going to charge you for that fitment. That leads me to the second point here is price. I think that there are companies out there that are 
basically highway robbery on L brackets and L plates. I'm not going to mention any names, but anyone who's charging over $100 for these, sometimes $150 to $200 for a piece of metal that is highway robbery. <laughs> okay, that's camera tax, and that's absolutely ridiculous. I've been using small rig mounts for the last seven years when it comes to these L brackets and L plates, and I absolutely love them. They are under $100. The one I found for my Sony A1, I believe, was $59. Okay, $59, perfect fitment. The other reason why I like these small rig L brackets is they put all of the little tools that you're going to need to use this L bracket inside the L bracket itself. So this tool right here, you can slide out and you can remove the L bracket if you need to, or you can change the position of the vertical mount right here and make that go up and down as you might need that to just like that. And then you can tighten it in place which can be really great when you add accessories like this or even accessories like remote shutter that you need to plug into the side of the camera. Another added benefit to these small rig L brackets is that there is an extra space here underneath the pinky. So if you've ever used one of these Sony cameras and you have a bigger hand like mine, you'll notice that if this L bracket wasn't here, my pinky would just be floating free. Like, uh, what do I do here, guys? So this small rig L bracket allows me uh, to have my pinky rest right there at the bottom, again, to create more stability while I'm shooting off of a tripod. As you can see, I also have a Cam Ranger mounted to this L bracket via an Arca Swiss plate that comes with the Cam Ranger. So if I do, am using my Cam Ranger while I'm on location, it is in a stable position that will not be dangling free from the cord by itself. These L brackets, I can't live without them. I think they're absolutely critical in my workflow while I'm on location shooting, but I don't think you should break the bank buying one either. If you have purchased an L bracket that is over $150, well, I'm sorry that you didn't see this video sooner, but I'm going to save you some money on all of your future purchases of L brackets and L plates from here on out. Custom fitment's important. Features are important. Making sure you can hit that battery door is important, but price, I would be very hesitant to pay that camera tax just for an L bracket, a little simple piece of metal. And I can tell you from experience, these small rig ones, even though they are considered more of the budget L brackets, I've never had a single problem with one of them. If you wanna see another episode of Something Cheap Others Spend Lots On, go ahead and click on this video here where I talk about pen tablets for Photoshop. Also, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. I like to talk about all things Photoshop and photography that make your life easier, whether you're on location or in Photoshop. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this. I sincerely appreciate it.